something else you could be working towards then it's gonna turn into I don't think you should do that. I think you should wait bro. I don't think that's smart bro. Gotta look it up. No. Okay. Alright, so you
Just getting back from the gym. It is. It is 2:30 right now. I woke up hella late this morning. I woke up hella late. I woke up like at 11 o'clock. Went out last night. Did axe throwing. By the way, yo, axe throwing is fun. Axe throwing is fun as hell. Like, I don't know if any any y'all ever did axe throwing, but axe throwing is very therapeutic and shit. Oh boy, it look like we about to go somewhere. She honking at me, so. Let me go hop in this truck and see where we about to go. You don't know which one? Damn, that's great. You don't know which one? Y'all are fucking identical. This you. Which one? This is you. Final answer? Yep. <laughs> Fuck no. <gasps> this, see, I said this in the beginning. Y'all are fucking identical twins. You can't fucking blame me. Today, now, I can tell y'all part <laughs> any day. That's crazy. Damn. Oh, wee. Cracker Barrel. Let's see what they got in here. Dang, they made you look far. Made you look far. What you need to move on? Slogan. Where are you? <laughs> People for real, you don't get here now. Uh, I'm looking at this chicken and French toast. But, I don't know, you want to go? Hey, Jerry. Hey, how are you? Good. My name's Grace, so I'll be taking care of y'all. Awesome. Can I get you started with something to drink? Yes. Can I please get a sweet tea? I'm gonna get the same thing. Sweet tea. Sweet tea. Would y'all like lemon for that? Yes, please. Yes. Alrighty, I'll go put that in. I'll be right back. Thank you. They make a cheese and look all that good. Get a box. Let crack a bear roll. <laughs> How do you put the crack in the bear roll? Okay. I know. Look at that catfish. I know I'm hungry. Country fried steak, meatloaf, chicken and dumplings, chicken fried chicken, chicken tenders, and breaded fried chicken tenders, catfish. And why you turn off uh, the Rollins uh, stand up? I was gonna go back and watch it. He just wasn't as funny as like when it started up. It wasn't. It picks up a little bit, but then after that, I just stopped laughing. You know me, I laugh at shit that I find really. Yeah, I'm like, if you ain't got me laughing, at the I watched time, the whole thing already. Yeah, I know. That's why we started. Yeah. So, so basically, you give that movie six, six point five out of ten. Okay, I'll give it a seven because I'm like, oh shit. Crazy. I mean, if it's not that good, hell, it's not that good. It's, it's not that sweet. It's not good. I think I said so. Like, when I said sweet tea, baby, I'm, I meant like. You can feel your blood pressure. Right? Yes. Yeah, so. 
Hey, the owners need to come give them a damn tip on how to make them kiki. Well, you know who all back there in that kitchen. Nah, they just living up to That's their how you make sweet tea. Put that sugar packet in there and stir. Oh, goodness. This girl while actively watching me put sugar in the tea. What is you looking at? Oh, biscuits and gravy type shit. And playing this game. So, y'all been to Cracker Bear? Y'all know about this game right here. So, I'm about to play this joint. having all the stuff Get your ass busting checkers too mm -hmm. every fucking time like i said me and ricky was sitting on that couch i was like and my mama had just got done giving me that speech about faith without works is dead and after she got done giving me that speech i was like me and ricky we don't watch this episode like i said i don't know how many times and shit i like but when cole said that shit i was like that shit hit different i was like it was because me and ricky at that time was 23 I like, and we just graduated college. I was like, and I looked at Ricky, I said, damn, bro. I said, we three years away from that. He was like, yeah. Exactly. I was like. Everybody picked on Cole. And as kids, you picked on Cole. You picked on him. But as you get older. Yeah. I was like, damn. You get older, you're like, damn, I'm cold. And they was like, what y'all do? I said, I got my black ass up off that couch. I said, I went and called my older brother. And I told him to tell me about the military. I said, then shit. I said, that Thursday, I said, we probably watched that episode like on a Sunday or Monday. I was like, that Thursday, me and Ricky was at the recruiter's office. I was like, for the next two weeks, we was doing everything we had to for as the military. Then once we got everything done within that two weeks, I said, that next week, I said, I was gone. I was like, I was dead ass about that shit. I was like, nah, I said, I'm not about to be like cold and shit, man. I said, nah, I was like, I was like, 
I was like, it, I said, it took me till I got to 23. I was like, I, I said, I wasn't in college bullshitting. I was like, but I thought all you needed was a college degree and you'd be set. I was like, but then I came to realize and shit, like, it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. I was like, and I didn't know nobody. I was like, I thought people was going to come to Columbus County. I'm like, nigga, I said, ain't nobody coming to Columbus County to see you. I was like, you ain't, I said, your sport days are over with. I said, ain't nobody coming to see you. Hey, you ain't nobody. You gotta read, you gotta put your name out there again. But as a grown ass man who ain't playing sports, you gotta do something else. Your nick in high school was sports. Yeah. Your sports days are over. Exactly. You gotta find another nick to get your name out there. So you gotta find something to do. Like, we had a, we had a fucking reality check. Yeah. Like a like, big one. That episode hit me. I was like, yo, I'm about to be cold, bro. And then somebody asked me, they had asked me, they was like, uh, they was like, wasn't your brother gonna stay? I was like, yeah. I said, he wasn't gonna go. I was like, he was going to go to Durham and live with this girl. I was like, but the nigga was going to take my car. I was like, and I told him, hell nah. Because I was like, what happened when shit go wrong with it? I was like, he told me, he said, I just called you. I was like, nah. I said, you ain't about to drive my car and shit go wrong with it. I was like, you call me, you ain't going to fix it. I was like, nah, bring your ass to this recruiter's office. I said, that shit ain't about to go. I said, that shit ain't about to happen. I said, he won't about to go. I said, but you ask him today. I was like, is he glad I drug his ass down there? I was like, that motherfucker done seen all types of the world and shit like that that I didn't get to see yet. I said, that I ain't got to see. I was like, but he done been a little bit everywhere. I was like, but it was because of that Martin episode and it was because of me kind of pushing him and dragging him and shit like that, saying, nah, we're going to do this shit. I was like, and look at the life he living. I was like, motherfucker over there in Italy. I was like, every time I see him and shit like that, he's somewhere else. I was like, he's somewhere else and shit like that. I'm like, he wouldn't have got that back in Columbus County. Like, he wouldn't have got that shit back in Columbus County. I was like, and me, I'm driving my dream car and shit like that. I said, I still got my Honda and shit. I was like, but I was like, I'm pushing around my dream car. I was like, I wouldn't have got that sitting back in Columbus County and shit. Hell nah, bro. Like I said, looking back at it now, I was like, damn, like, I was really gonna do that shit. Like, damn, I was really gonna do like that. Like, yeah, bro. <laughs> I mean, this shit funny now, but. I mean, it's, it's funny. It's funny when you look back at it, but, but you know, it's like. It's funny as shit, but it's like, damn, my nigga really was about to do this. Like I was about to do that. I mean, I'm 29 now, and I look back when I was 22, like it, it, it was seven years ago. It's like, damn, Rick, you really was about to do that shit, huh? You really was about to do that dumb shit. Like, where you was be at now? Yeah, bro. I like, think I don't know.
I just got back from church. Uh, church is good, matter of fact. Church is really good. Um, man, I wish I could have heard that word. Um, speaking a lot about doubt and uncertainty and stuff like that in your life. And basically, man, just... It's like if you feel uncertain about things you want to do in life, just basically like speak life over it, bring life back to it. Like, you know, if you're uncertain about things, like, you know, for certain, like, you know, if something is heavy in your heart and your mind and your soul and stuff like that. And God told you to do it. But then later on in life, like you like doubt kicks in, or uncertainty kicks in, everything like that. Just speak life over it. Like, just speak life over it. And like, you know, it'll it'll bring it back to life like what you thought was dead and everything like that man like that's why i'm saying like i'm glad i'm back in the church and stuff like that now um you know i had a lot of uncertainty and doubt in my life about a couple things and everything like that and man just getting back in church and getting back around the right group of people and stuff like that like you know really just brings my mind at peace and at ease with a lot of things going on in my life so but yeah though man like today just been a really great day it's been a great weekend so far and everything like that you know i got work in the morning but you know i ain't even thinking about work right now work work gonna be work but you know i'm just living on i'm just on cloud nine right now um i'm just thankful where i'm at in life just thankful about you know where i'm going where my life is headed because i actually had to sit back and think like you know like a couple years ago like my life was not like this like you know i was uncertain and doubtful about a lot of things but I had to take that. I had to grow up and learn how to move. I had to just like, I had to, I had to know that, you know, wasn't nobody going to come knock on my door. I was still living with my moms at the time. I was like, wasn't well, nobody going to come knock on my mom's door and give me an opportunity. Like I had to get up and I had to leave and everything like that. Like, you know, and the military was the last thing that was on my mind. And like, you know, after graduating college and not doing what I needed to in college and everything like that, you know, I did that. I had to take responsibility for my own action. So, you know, military was the, was the last thing for me and you know and I went and did it and I'm glad I did it you know um military blessed me a lot of opportunities and everything like that but you know it's not the end all be all for me but just being back in that space just being out here like you know God separate me out here by myself and everything like that it just puts it just puts things back in perspective for me just to allow me just to grow closer to him and like what it is that he has for my life and the purpose that he has for my life. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like, like I said, man, church was just church. Church was great. Church was good, but I'm back home right now. Um, I'm about to go back in here, uh, work on a few things. Um, about to edit some more and everything like that. I'm behind on editing, I'm about to edit some more and then later on go out to eat. So that's where I'm at right now. But yeah, are you sure you're okay? I'm great. Well, I'm great, y'all. I'm great. But yeah. Uh, I'll check in with y'all later.